thing. My mother was 13 years old when I was born. Why? Because my dad raped the little girl that was in a room asleep. My dad was going out with my mother's mother. There you go. There's, there's some bones for Jake the Snake. And the time that my dad spent with uh, me and my sister. And uh, he drove my sister to the point that she wound up marrying a 50-year-old man. And then a year later being kidnapped and murdered by his ex-wife. And we never got her body. We know that she was dead because there was enough blood in the car to know that she was dead. The woman went to prison for kidnapping 10 years got out and said, please tell us where the body is. Fuck you guys, we're not telling you shit. You know? And it's always seemed like all, in all my life, it's like there's one gruesome, horrible thing happened after that. So my stepdad, who I felt very close to, yep. he winds up getting electrocuted in the attic of our house. My mother goes up and finds him. Jake's father was also a wrestler, Grizzly Smith. Though he was well known, he never reached the heights his son did. My dad was never there for me. I never lived with my father for a very short time. In the hour they spent together, the two could barely look at each other. I would do anything to gain my father's love. And I reached a point, I came out of high school, I was going to go to college, and I said, Dad, I'm going to go to college, you said, good luck. But she had thanks, you know. And right there, something inside me said, you know, if you ever going to get him to love you, you're going to be better than he is at what he does. So I went out to the ring, and I jumped in there and got the crap beat out of me. And when I walked back in that locker room, he looked at me and said, I'm ashamed of you. You'll never amount to anything. And walked away. And that's when I gave up my dreams and said, okay, by God, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to shove this business up his rear. And guess what? I did it. And guess what? It didn't matter. Well, he's got a he's got a lot of good qualities, and uh, it's uh, he was born out of love, and I still love him. I'm going to make you beg. You are going to get down on your hands and knees. You will be the one that grovels for the money. And now. That the money you grovel for is your very own, wallowing in the muck of avarice. Longfellow couldn't have said it better. Jake the Snake Roberts! At one time, one of the biggest wrestling stars in the world, Jake had dropped out of sight in the early 90s. But his legend lived on. Jake Roberts is one of the most phenomenal performers this industry has ever seen. Now, there is a guy with it. There is a guy that has that intangible. There is a guy that truly comes through the camera and captivates your attention. Jake Roberts had a... a had had great gifts and great skills in our business because he had a tremendous tremendous aptitude for the performance side of this business he never had a good body he never was a great athlete but he had his gift was his brain he's probably one of also when it comes to the actual um the, the, the actual psychology of how to control the audience. One of the most ingenious performers the industry has ever seen. I don't know that you can separate Jake Roberts, the performer, from Jake Roberts, the person, because, quite frankly, I never knew which one I was talking to. And I don't know that they're not the same. Unfortunately, he has had a lot of uh, encounters with demons over his lifetime that have been very destructive. He called us about two days before the show, and, of course, you know, he wanted his retainer. We sent him his retainer. And then he called us up and um, Jake told us straight up if we didn't get him some crack, then he wasn't going to come to our show. If Jake